I'm going to quickly mention how can we increase ourselves in doing the right thing. Brothers and sisters, would you guys agree that we respect people in society because of what we know about them? Sah? There are certain people that we look up to, that we respect, that we hold in high regard. Why? Because of what we know about them. Sah? I'm sure you brothers have role models. These YouTubers, huh? This guy is successful. He's got all of this money. He's got a lot of views, a lot of subscribers. We look at him differently to everyone else because of what we know about them. Sah? Isn't it so? I'm sure the sisters, they have people as well. Why is it when these people say something, we listen? But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something, it falls on deaf ears. Or it's just like some random individual saying something. I'm going to tell you guys, because we don't know anything about Allah. We have no idea of who Allah is. The only source of knowledge that we have of Allah are what? His names and His attributes. Go through His names. Who from amongst us has gone through the names of Allah? Al Sami, Al Rahman, Al Basir, Al Latif. But if I ask you about the Liverpool X1 first team, you can tell me all of them and the one that's on the bench and injured as well. Sah? Some of you guys know who's playing tonight, huh? I'm wrong to say that, you're laughing. Sahih? Most of your friends, they know, right? And if we see them on the road, Stephen Gerrard, huh? he's in Saudi now, right? Some of these uh, Liverpool players, we go crazy because of their achievements and whatever they've accomplished. But when it comes to Allah, brothers and sisters, it falls on their face. لا نعرف عنه شيء. So how do we expect to activate our hearts or for us to be moved when we hear something about Allah Azza wa Jal? It's not going to happen. Man ahabba liqa Allah, ahabba Allah liqa. Whoever loves to meet Allah, Allah loves to meet him. And whoever doesn't love to meet, Allah doesn't want to meet him. How can we increase, right? That desire of wanting to meet Allah Azza wa Jal. And to get activated upon hearing his commandments, learn about who Allah Azza wa Jalla is. When you internalize that Allah is a Sami'a, He's Al Basir, Al Raqib, He can see every little thing that you're doing, every step that you take, every move that you make. You know, once upon a time, if we wanted to access Haram, we had those big computers, right? You know, the Dell big computers with the big backs, the keyboard. And if you wanted to engage with the opposite gender, you have the webcam that you have to use. Some of you guys are probably too young to know. You don't know, right? MSN and MySpace. No, it's fine. Don't worry. And you're watching the door so that you don't get caught. You hear huh? a little shh. You want to flip the keyboard. Today, under the blanket, with these devices, accessing haram has become so, so easy. Fingertip away. Right? It's times like that when it comes in extremely handy. Perhaps now it's falling into place. The importance of learning your aqidah and how it's in connection with the sins that you fall into. And these names of Allah, my brother, is the only source of knowledge that we have about who Allah Azza wa is. Sah. Right. I'll give you guys an example that Ibn Rajah mentions. A man, a Bedouin man, ran into a woman in the middle of the desert. Nobody was there. And he began to what? Seduce her. Somali say, Shukansa. Huh? And she started getting very scared. His response was, Mimma What are you scared of? La yarana ilal kawakib. The only thing that can see us is the stars. That was his response. La yarana ilal kawakib. 
You know what the response was? Look how she was a woman that understood Allah. Where's the one that brought the stars into existence? Where's the creator of these stars? The impact ended up drilling into his heart and then he withheld from doing haram with her. That is the impact the names of Allah internalizing will have on you. And then it's going to prevent you from these sins that you fall into. Also Allah says, Allah knows the deceptive eye and what you conceal in your hearts. When you are about to strike that deal, huh? you're about to close that transaction and you've written things in small that the buyer cannot see, deceiving him just so you can make a little bit more money. You think Allah Azza doesn't see that? And that Allah Azza wa Jal will deal with you accordingly. All of this, my brothers and my sisters, right? It comes from you learning about what Allah Azza wa is. You know, sometimes I, I, I think about these drug dealers and these guys who run around beating people up. Do you not know and Allah Azza wa Jal say, mink, yani. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hunt you down. Allah Azza may choose, may choose if he wishes to deal with you in this world before the hereafter. That's from his sifat and yantaqim. Not from his asma. We don't say he's muntaqim ala al itlaq. La. It's something that Allah Azza wa Jal can do to you. If you do it, right? He will avenge. You've broken someone's legs. That can't happen to you tomorrow. I've seen brothers, they would say, these are drug dealers, right? Guys on the road. Just go and stab him in the knee. Just teach him a lesson. Right? Yeah, the guy who you're stabbing is going to say to you, come take my knees and stab it, right? That's what he's going to say to you. And then things spiral out of control. Eventually he finds himself, that guy who's giving out these commands in a wheelchair, crippled. You're causing all of these problems and this oppression and you think you're going to get away with it. This is a person, ma araf Allah. Inna Allaha la yumli li dhalimi hatta idha akhadhu lam yuflitah. Messiah Sallallahu told us, Allah Azza wa Jal, again we're learning about who Allah is and what He does. The one who's oppressing others, He will give him respite. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep it. And then when Allah decides to grab you, He will take you. ثُمَّ تَلَقُولُهُ تَأَنَّنِي رَدْ وَكَذَلِكَ أَخْذُ رَبِّكَ إِذَا أَخَذَ الْقُرَى وَهِيَ ظَالِمَةِ إِنَّ أَخْذَهُ أَلِيمُ الشَّرِيمُ Indeed, him taking you is extremely painful. Doesn't that like really affect us now the more we learn about Allah Azza wa Jal? I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to benefit us from what we had. To make us from those that when they hear the reminder, they act upon it. 